Despite the North London side's attacking policy taking a back seat, it was Tottenham who took the lead, sharing one target and the first to applaud the contribution of Darren Anderton. Teddy Sheringham has been having a tough time of late, what with missed spot kicks and living in the shadow of the incredible Jurgen Klinsmann, a goal may be just what it takes to kickstart his season. This game was billed as make or break for manager Ardiles, and when Wimbledon hit back within two minutes, the Argentinian must have been getting just a touch edgy. If one thing is certain in football, it has to be that Wimbledon will always make life as hard as possible. Steve Tallboys, the scorer. The Dons have a team spirit that is second to none. After the turmoil of the opening weeks, you would expect one or two of the heads to fall. But when you've got men like Joe Kinnear and Vinnie Jones around, heads aren't allowed to fall. That said, Spurs were still looking the more dangerous sign, despite their more pragmatic approach. But an anxious Ozzy Ardiles had to wait until the 63rd minute before his side were back in front. Jorge Popescu with what turned out to be the winner. It was a marvellous goal from the Romanian midfielder. It was a goal that brought to an end Spurs' recent run of terrible results. It was a goal that many believe gives Ozzy Ardiles a little more time in the last chance saloon. Wimbledon won, Tottenham 2.